Ruth, from JP Morgan to Schroeder's, some of the world's biggest names in finance are lining up for the so-called widow-maker trade, despite its reputation, despite how we know this story tends to work out. Yeah, absolutely. And investors are certainly circling around the BOJ for a big showdown from the looks of things. It all comes down to the policy divergence story, Heidi, that, you know, the BOJ is lagging everyone from the Fed to the RBA in raising interest rates. And funds are seeing an increasing opportunity to bet against that, that at some point the BOJ will have to tweak or even abandon its yield curve control policy. Uh, you mentioned Schroeder's. Yes, they are saying that Japan is the one market that is telling us to go short. Um, JP Morgan is another that's saying that the BOJ will have to adjust policy at some point. So there's a line up there for people to, uh, you know, really trade the widow maker trade. Oh boy, and the tough one is, of course, at some point, maybe at some point in the future, right, Ruth? But what are the implications to global rates markets here? If these investors' bets are right, that the BOJ will tweak or abandon yield curve control policy maybe sooner rather than later? Yeah, in a word, big. So a surge in rates in Japan would see yields nearly everywhere ratchet up higher. You know, it would have huge implica implications for companies, consumers and governments. So it would really put renewed stress on a global economy that's already struggling under the weight of soaring energy prices and choked up supply chains.